Hello, my name is Jason. This is Monty. And today we're going to be studying the verse 1 John chapter 3, verse number 16. And I'm going to read it first in the King James Version. Then I'm going to read it in the New Living Translation just to give you a different sort of spin on it. And it says, Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. In the New Living Translation, We know what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us. So we also ought to give up our lives for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, now here's a little bit of context before we get into uh, the broader meaning of the uh, verse. This book was written by John the Evangelist. It's the one who wrote uh, the book of Revelation, John of Patmos, but uh, he's most well known in Christian circles as John the Evangelist. Uh, it was written in Ephesus around 95 to 110 AD. This book was written to counteract a dangerous heretical doctrine that was being taught in churches. That's the doctrine of Docetism, which is the belief that Jesus did not come in the flesh, but that he came as a spirit and he only perceived to be flesh by those who were with him, which we know is uh, not biblically sound at all, and it's obviously a huge, huge um, bit of false doctrine, but it was so wide believed back in the day because, again, um, many of these churches were just getting established and they didn't have uh, sound teaching always coming through. So this book was really written to those churches that were struggling with this particular issue. Um, now, Chapter 3 of this book, which is where we come in, uh, it focuses on two important issues, righteousness and love. The later portion of the chapter delves into how we're supposed to show love to one another. That's where we are. It, we're supposed to love one another as Christ first loved us, and that's how people will know that we are of God. They won't know. It's, in fact, it says that. Uh, don't let people know you just because you say you're a Christian, but show that you're a Christian and how you love your brother and sister. And that's how people will know that you're really of God and not of Satan. And so, I, what do you think about this verse? Well, uh, the context is very important to uh, most, most of the, uh, the chapter and the rest of the book, of course. But this verse, it, it kind of sticks out very much because it's talking about God's love. Mm -hmm. And despite that you read this in every part of the Bible, he, he read uh, 1 John 3.16, it goes on, uh, three sixteen. it says, We know what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us. Yes. So we also ought to give up our lives for our brothers and sisters. Verse 17 says, If someone has enough money to live well and sees a brother or sister in need but shows no compassion, how can God's love be with that person? Which now, is read, monumentally interesting. Yes. Thing. We read verse 16. And it's a very feel-good scripture. It's talking about God's love and how, uh, if you read but uh, John 3.16, we, we could all quote. Yeah. It says, uh, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. And it, it says something very close to those lines. Then it says to us Christians, like, if, you, if you're wealthy, if you have even a little bit, and you see somebody else who has nothing, but you don't help that person out, Mm -hmm. then you don't really have the love of Christ. You're not showing the love of Christ. And it's all it all leads back, and we point to these two sermons a lot, sermon number one and sermon number 50. Mm -hmm. If you look back at uh, either of those, we talk about how we have to be the light of the world and how we show these, these, these uh, acts. Yes. And one of the best ways that you can do that, and I apologize for cutting you off, one of the best ways that you can do that is by showing love, not just by talking about being a Christian, not just by quoting Bible verses in people's face, but by showing real love, because that's the only way you're ever going to change a real heart. And I am a, I am a first-hand witness of seeing things like this happen, yes. and it, it's crazy. I know people who probably will, would not be in the church today if it had not been for the love that the church family showed to them, even when they weren't in the church. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very important, not only to show... Uh, love to Christians and other people that we like, but to show love to everyone so that we can save their soul. There's a quote, uh, I don't remember who said it, but it goes, you ha must have to hate someone if you believe in hell and do not warn them about wow. it. Powerful. Um, and this, is, this verse really, really uh, set within me. Because, of course, you know, it's all over current event news if you follow any sort of news media, which I would encourage you to follow this story particularly because it is very important. Uh, and it's the Syrian refugee crisis. And now please, do you, 
feel free to disagree with the comment section in any way, shape, or form. Um, but this really, really hit me uh, when reading this verse, and I personally felt almost um, horrible about um, my actions as a Christian towards these people. And I think it is ridiculous for us as Christians to live in our first world with our first world problems, drive our wonderful cars, live in our wonderful houses, and not worry about the events that are going on in Syria that are forcing all of these families and people to find refuge in other countries. And it is ridiculous for us as a country to only accept a few thousand of them when they are dying and whenever they need our help and they need to know God's love. So I encourage all of you, if you can, I believe uh, Google right now is um, taking donations. So I encourage all of you, if you have uh, the ability to give money, please do it because it is such an important event. And this is a great way to show God's love to not only these people, but to the rest of the world. And so I do encourage you, if you disagree with me, that's great. But you know what? We really need to do this, and we need to show the love of God to those even in difficult situations like this. And, and if I may say, just a, another accentuating point about this verse, verse 17, uh, I've read a lot about uh, like gangs, and when we think about gangs, we think of the gang violence, mm -hmm. the, the bad deals that go down. But one thing that attracts people to be part of a gang like that is not the big bad of it, but the fact that every gang is like a family to those who don't have a family. They show those people, once they are in the gang, love. Mm -hmm. But if we as Christians show people love before they are part of our gang, then we could draw them into the gang. Yes, uh, so love is monumentally important to us as Christians, and I think it's something that we need to show to those people that maybe we don't agree with or maybe the people that we don't think deserve it because that's what Jesus wanted, and that's what he fought, lived, and died for. And so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry it went a little long today. We just kind of got on a little rant about love there, but I don't apologize for saying what we had to say. It was very important. Uh, so be sure to tell us what you thought of the video in the comment section down below. Uh, while you're there, be sure to subscribe, like this video if you really enjoyed it. And with all that said and done, my name is Jason. He is Monty. We're signing off.